Wingapo. That means hello in Cherokee. And as someone who once thought of himself as a Cherokee, or at least someone who had Cherokee blood, a uh, great-grandmother named Minnie Dixon, and um, I was convinced that she was our relative. So convinced that I even went to her gravesite with my younger brother uh, out in Hollywood Cemetery in, uh, in Norfolk, Virginia. And felt like, yes, okay, this is part of my identity. This is uh, who I am. It's the feeling that, you know, I'm an American, I'm not 100% white, that I'm actually um, part of a minority class in some way. Which in any form was good. It was bonus points in the Oppression Olympics. Well, it turns out that um, my older brother got a DNA test, uh, or genetics test, or I don't know how they do this exactly. One of those ancestry things. And uh, it turns out all of us auto boys are from very vanilla, uh, white, northern European. I think maybe maybe a little bit of Southern European, basically um, they found that our ancestry brought us back to yeah, Scotland and yeah, France and uh, of course uh, Scandinavia. And so it turns out all that was uh, bogus. Uh, thinking that I was a Native American and not only, uh, you know, since I wasn't part of a tribe or anything, you know, the, the whole excuse was that because of my parents' background and, and the fact that we had traveled so far and gone to Wisconsin from the southeast where we were all originally from, just thinking, well, of course we don't know, we don't have the same direct contact to our Native American ancestors. But I never tried claiming that. Um, as uh, Focahontas, as Elizabeth Warren has tried claiming. With one exception, you know, I did mark Native American as my race on my um, college application because I honestly thought it was true. And um, there was no, um, I was not required to prove it or anything at all. I just had to tick the box, which led to me getting some grants, I think. Um, my justification for it back then was, well, you know, um, the founder of the Cherokee Nation was only one-eighth Cherokee himself. <laughs> and I studied that, but uh, it turns out it was all bogus. And um, actually, Elizabeth Warren is a bit more native than I am. <laughs> and uh, she does have some semblance, maybe some ancestor from many, many generations ago who may be Indian or Mexican or something. But what's really funny about her story is the fact that she um, really uh, benefited from claiming to be a minority. And, and she's openly claimed to be a minority, a member of the Cherokee, which is odd. I went through and I found her book, uh, Pow Wow Chow, online, and I looked up the recipe. And it's for uh, crab cakes or something, which is odd because when I, I did some more research and found that Cherokees didn't eat crabs to begin with. But it's some uh, recipe that involves crab and, and tomato and, and mayonnaise, and she submitted it. Um, and I think her husband also submitted a recipe as well. And um, it was her name, Elizabeth Warren, comma, Cherokee. <laughs> and this is in a published uh, a cookbook. I uh, typed in the ingredients in the Google and I found a recipe that looked suspiciously similar from uh, some old Massachusetts cookbook from the 1800s or something. And so it was clearly plagiarized what she submitted and I'm not sure why she would do that apart from having herself listed as um, a Cherokee. It's, it's sort of like the, situations, um, the situation with Sean King where on the police report, you know, they listed him white, but, but he didn't really say, like, he was just, um, everyone understood he was black. Um, it's, it's really amazing the verbal and mental gymnastics that go behind pretending to be a race that you're not. Anyway, as soon as I found out that I was 100% uh, white, it didn't change me. It didn't make me think, okay, well, 
I can be a racist now. I can <laughs> I can suddenly just say that whites are the best or something. Like that's not how it works at all. But um, apparently, having that victim status and apparently um, choosing to identify as a minority can benefit you in the same way that it benefited me with um, unquestioned grants and, and financial help when I was younger. Of course there are other factors, uh, namely the fact that I'm quite brilliant, you know, I, I had excellent grades and so they saw that, and uh, as well as the fact that I'm from a very poor, uh, troubled family. But the minority status had nothing to do with anything. Over and out.